Hey, what's up everyone? So in this quick video, I want to show you the performance of the Premiere Pro Beta on the M1 MacBook Air. This is base model with 7 core GPU and only 8 GB RAM. When I opened up Creative Cloud to install Photoshop Beta version, I was surprised to see that Premiere Pro Beta version is also available along with Adobe Audition, After Effects and Media Encoder. Just a few days ago, all the reviewers were saying that if you use Premiere Pro, don't get the M1 MacBook. You should stay with the Intel version for now as Adobe didn't have an Apple Silicon optimized version of Premiere Pro at that time. But this beta version changes everything. So let's open up a 4K project in Premiere Pro. This is 8-bit 4K 100Mbps video shoot on Sony A7R2. I am scrubbing through it in full resolution and it feels really snappy. Sometimes it drops a few frames but most of the time the performance is really great even in full resolution. On the A-roll, color corrections are applied and it has no issue in playing that and on top layer we have B-roll. My setup to edit this video was using a LG 28 inch monitor that has USB-C port with power delivery connected to M1 MacBook Air and using Logitech MX Master 3 mouse, MX keys as a keyboard and AirPods Pro connected with Bluetooth. I edited this video for 5 hours and laptop didn't get hot at all. It felt a little warm but it's just like when using an iPhone camera for longer period but nothing uncomfortable. And the most amazing thing is its fanless design so no more jet lag sound when doing a 4K video editing. It's a beta version so there are many bugs. The two main issue I faced was if I minimize the Premiere Pro and open it again it will not open. So I had to quit it and open it again. But if I just move between apps then it will keep working. I didn't face any crash in my testing. But another issue I am facing is that it is not supporting AVI and MP3 files for now. So you will have to convert these file formats before using it. I edited the audio files in Adobe Audition beta version. Did background noise reduction and applied compression and it worked fine without any crashes. So how hot it will get? Let me show you the temperature in TG Pro and it's between 30 to 40 degrees Celsius range. And it feels like magic if you are coming from any other high-end laptop. Here is a quick comparison with Razer Blade 15 Advanced model. It has 9th gen i7 CPU, RTX 2080, 64GB RAM, new thermal place applied. Even on idle use, it's running above 60 degrees Celsius. Let's open Premiere Pro on it and it immediately hit 90 to 95 degrees. I was not able to open the same project files saved on M1 Mac on the Razer Blade. So I am going to create a new project. The fans have started spinning at full speed and it's really really loud. The performance is great. There are no frames dropped. So I have unplugged it and now making sure it's on best performance mode. And now if I scrub through the timeline it feels slow. While on Apple side if you unplug there is a no difference in performance. And scrubbing looks exactly the same as it was plugged in. It's so hard to believe that we are getting better performance on a 13 inch fanless design ultrabook with just 8 GB of RAM and no dedicated GPU and temperatures are way lower when compared to Razer Blade 15. So that's it for today guys, I am really impressed with the M1 MacBook Air performance as I was confused if I should get the Pro because it has fans but it turns out Air is not getting hot at all even in 4K video editing in Premiere Pro which is not an easy task for most laptops. Let me know in comments if you want me to test a specific app or have any question about the M1 MacBook Air. If you want to see more video like this, sub to the channel would be amazing. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.